So as you probably know, the 2020, 2021, whatever year it is, Tokyo Olympics are going on right now. Now, you may be thinking, have I watched a single event in the entire Olympics? No, I, ha I haven't. Do I even care remotely, like a little bit about the Olympics? Not really. But as a programmer, I took it as an opportunity to create a project and share it with you guys right here on YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to be going through how I created an Olympics medal viewer using Python, Pygame and Selenium. If you're interested in web scraping or GUI design, then this video is going to be a great starter point for you because I'm going to be showing you how to get started web scraping with Selenium and how to create graphical user interfaces using Pygame. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Before I started writing any code, I figured I'd create the UI and then go from there. So I went into Photoshop and started creating a concept. I wanted the concept to look clean, minimal, and I wanted it to be logical. So in the end, I settled with this abstract blue and red blurry kind of design, and it was super simple to make. All I did was find an image online and apply a crap ton of Gaussian blur to it to get this cool effect. And I created the rows and columns using rectangles and circles. Now, as you can see, there are columns for each country and the respective gold, silver and bronze medals. There are also rows for each country, which the data would be put in. So at that point, I had the UI figured out and I could start writing the code. So I exported each sprite to my game folder and started writing the GUI code. It was super simple. All I needed to do was blit a few surfaces to the screen here and there and implement scrolling up and down so you could see other countries' Olympic medals. To create the rows, I looped through the list of the countries and for each country, I created its row. So I was done the UI at that point and I could create the web scraping code. But after I put in some dummy data to just see how everything looked, here's what I came up with. So now we can move on to the fun part, using Selenium. Selenium is a Python library that comes in a variety of other languages that lets you web scrape. What web scraping is, is it's just finding pieces of information on websites and using them for your own projects. In this case, I referenced the Olympics website and found the data for each country's gold, silver and bronze medals. So to get started, web scraping is really simple and I'll explain how to do it in a few simple steps. So the first thing you have to do to get started web scraping with Python is install Selenium through pip and import it into your script. Then you can find your web driver. Your web driver is probably the most important thing you need when you're web scraping. It allows you to pull out all the contents of a web page and use them in your own Python projects. Since I'm using Chrome, I downloaded the correct web driver for my Chrome's version. After putting the web driver in the correct project folder, I was able to pass in the URL to the Olympics website. Now to find the correct data on the page, I inspected it by pressing Ctrl Shift C and found the tags that it used to store the data. For this website, it used the TD tags to store all of the Olympics medal data in the table. So I told my web driver to give me all elements with the TD tag. This was done through the find elements by CSS selector method. After I had that data, I filtered through it and only kept the information that I needed. After I had that, I put all the data in a big dictionary and I was done with the web scraping. To finish the project, all I needed to do was update the GUI script and connect the web scraping script with the GUI script. Combining the two, I got a fully functional, passively updating Olympics medal viewer made with Python, Pygame, and Selenium. So if you enjoyed this video, consider slightly caressing the like button and doing the same thing for the other big red one so I can continue making these kinds of videos. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good day.